Good morning. <clears throat> Today is Wednesday. It's the 29th of April already, and it's St. Catherine of Siena's memorial. St. Catherine of Siena was from a very large family. There were 24 children. She was one of the younger, and she became a, a third order Dominican. And she was known for her charity <clears throat> and also for her uh, kind of self learning or whatever. She is a doctor of the church. Uh, and she was alive during the time of the, of the uh, Aragon papacy, where there were several pap popes in a row uh, lived in France instead of in Italy, in Rome. And she wrote very, very strong letters to the pope telling him to get back to Rome where he was supposed to be because he was the bishop of Rome. Uh, <clears throat> ample writings, there's <clears throat> lots of nights, quotes about her. It's interesting little, I used to go to the University of Akron uh, for education administration in the new student center. They have a, a great big wall and a mural. It doesn't have her, but it's just kind of a geometric thing. But it has a quote from her, which was kind of interesting at a state university. Uh, and the intention for this mass would be for what, the eternal repose of Seraphim Joseph Zapata, and for all of the deceased of the congregation of St. Joseph. <clears throat> Here is a wise virgin from among the number of the prudent who went forth with lighted lamp to meet Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. <clears throat> I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who sent Saint Catherine, who set Saint Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love, and in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service of your church, grant through her intercession that your people participating in the mystery of Christ may ever exalt in the revelation of his glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging out men and women, he handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. When they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Thank you, to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with a joy. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. 
Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to the God of his joy. He has changed the sea into dry land, through the river they passed on foot. Therefore let us rejoice in him, he rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia. 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 Everyone who believes in the Son has eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day, says the Lord. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. <clears throat> a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. Whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me. Because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Let us raise our voices in petition to our Heavenly Father. Let us pray for all of those who, like St. Catherine, have a combination of great contemplation and strong acts of charity in the church, that that mixture of Mary and Martha will continue. We pray to the Lord. Lord, get our prayer. And let us pray for all of those in government and medical communities, those who have scientists making decisions for our future. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray also for all of those who perhaps are getting really tired of being at home and are struggling with this, uh, that they not be imprudent and put themselves and others in danger. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray also for all of those who have asked us to pray for them, especially those who perhaps have no one else to pray for them. For them we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the rather long list of people in our, uh, pray for, in our sick list in the bulletin, for all of them and everyone else who's uh, in our families and friends who is ill, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for vocations to the ordained and consecrated life, that this, they will be generous in their response to God's call. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for those who preceded us in death, especially for Seraph and Joseph Zapata. For his eternal repose, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we ask you to receive these prayers through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, which become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God of Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May God accept the sacrifice of the for the grace and knowledge of the Lord our Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to allow you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <coughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, did I do the bread? No. Let's start over again. Okay. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> I did do it twice. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son 
and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Catherine of Siena, and with all the saints, and whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And and the Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. <clears throat> May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it nourished the life of St. Catherine, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.
Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Sorry for that brain cramp. I doubted that I had consecrated the bread, but now I'm sure I did. So the second one was not needed, but I'm getting there, I'm getting up there. <laughs> Pray for me. God bless you. Thanks. Oh, I'm getting gaga.